What's up, cousins and canine cousins alike? Guys, thank you for joining me. This is part three of my DIY electronics in my John Boat to Bass Boat conversion, full electronics in my Top Gun John Boat. Guys, there's not a whole lot for me to tell you on this one besides we're just going to wrap up all the electronics. If you follow me to this point, we got a lot of content in video one and video two. This is just the very end. I'm going to complete the wiring job. And uh, man, it came out so sweet. I'm actually so excited. I can't believe I actually did it and didn't burn down my tiny boat garage or set my boat on fire or anything. It, it turned out really good. I think you guys are going to like the results. Uh, man, it is freaking awesome. That is all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you see, you like the channel, you like the boat build, go ahead and just click that subscribe button. We've got another build coming up this fall. It's going to be a 10 foot ultra light and that thing I got some cool plans for. So stay tuned. As always, guys, may your tiny boat builds be great. Okay, got everything going into where it needs to go for the most part. Got everything coming through the back. Uh, if it needs to go to a switch, it goes there. If it needs to go to the bus bar, it goes there. I've got my 8 and 10 gauge going through. A couple other miscellaneous items. Um, guys, I am running this, this LED light bar in my front hatch. Um, it's going to flip up and house the light bar. So I'm using the MIC tuning um, relay that actually comes with that. All I've had to do is lengthen the wires to get them to this point, which you'll see I've spliced them in here. And I've had to lengthen my ground wire. And then the accessory wire, I'm gonna, I've cut all this excess off of it. This accessory wire is gonna go around and then tie into a switch. And then it came with an inline fuse, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off and I'm actually gonna fuse this into my uh, Blue C Systems um, fuse box, where, wherever it's at in this boat. I have no idea where it's at, but anyhow, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Now, once everything goes in and ties into the switch, uh, then all I'm going to have to do is um, jump off each switch back through and uh, assign it a, a breaker or a fuse. Went ahead and mounted my Blue Sea Systems uh, fuse box inside the box because I'm going to have to, uh, the way I want this to be visible, I want everything real neat. So... Um, it's going to be easier with that mounted, believe it or not, for me to just go ahead cutting all the wires to the exact length that I need them, as opposed to having it outside the box would be easier to attach everything, but uh, then I wouldn't have an idea of the appropriate length for my wires. Because again, this is going to have a window. Um, now looking back, that was probably a bad idea, but uh, I don't know why I do these things to myself, but I guess I like torture. So I'm uh, attaching the terminals. Um, using the heat shrink around these and I uh, just want to point out real quick I ran out of heat shrink tubing in the quarter inch size with the kit that I had so I ordered some new stuff on Amazon and they had a new product that they didn't have about a year ago um, when I ordered my first heat shrink tubing set and this stuff actually is pretty thick but it's lined on the inside with like an adhesive so when you heat these up, not only not only is this a thick, heavy-duty uh, rubber coating, but when you heat them up, like the adhesive just kind of squeezed out of the end, and I guess it just kind of glues itself. Um, but anyhow, I'll leave a link to these in the description. But I'm I'm impressed so far with them. But uh, I'm I'm doing the terminals. I'm going to go ahead and connect them and get everything and just just start working my way through all this. I am uh, coating my ring connectors and dielectric grease just kind of as I go. I'm just trying to get everything in there nice and neat and um, do it as clean as possible. Um, almost got this relay fully uh, modified. Again, all I did there, guys, was lengthen the wire. So I cut, cut some wire out and lengthened it because the light bar is way up front. So added wire to it. I removed the inline fuse off of this lead here and um, added a ring connector that will tie into the positive here. So it'll fuse here instead of having the inline. 
and then I'm just running the accessory wire through and it's going to tie into a switch that will power the light bar. Um, and now I am going to start um, taking all of these negatives coming in for my accessories and then tying them in to the negative terminal. Well, I'm an idiot. I just realized I've got my negative hooked up to my positive and my positive hooked up to my negative and I already had I'd only ran one wire, so it's not the end of the world. I may have to redo that one wire because I don't know if it's going to be long enough now. Of course, this is what happens when you work it, you know, past midnight. Um, you just make small mistakes because you're tired and drained from, you know, being up all day. And, and look, all my negatives are ran through here, and I ran them through this side of the box because my negative bus bar was supposed to be over here. So, obviously, I was not thinking... So I'm going to go ahead and take everything apart and turn this thing around. Okay, so I've got this white wire coming out. That's actually coming from my relay for my light bar. Um, decided to use the relay and do some modifications. Um, this wire is not going to be long enough to reach my switch. So in this case, I am adding to it. Um, the way I'm doing that is I'm just using a standard crimp connector for the gauge wire that I'm using. Um, I believe this is a 18 gauge wire, which is... Everything on my boat's 14 for the most part, but uh, this, this wire actually came from the relay this way. So we're going to continue it um, with some scrap wire I had left over. So uh, just a standard crimp connector, but then I'm taking that awesome uh, shrink wrap and I'm just going over more than enough. And I'll show you what this looks like when we shrink it up. And that is it, as you can see, it's uh, completely waterproof and uh, I can see it, I don't know if you can see it on camera, that little bit of the adhesive that starts to squirt out of the end lets me know that this has got a nice tight seal. I haven't had to do a lot of crimp connections in this build. Obviously, the less uh, connections you have, probably the better, um, but uh, this is how I'm doing it. So I just wanted to show you guys that anywhere I've actually had to cut a wire and do a crimp connection, that's what I'm doing. Um, trying to keep that to a very, very minimal though. Um, just because anywhere there's a connection, that's just a, a spot that could possibly cause you issues. So always try to just run your wires in a consistent run um, without having any interruptions except where necessary. And in case you haven't noticed, as I'm doing these um, these heat shrink wraps with this heat gun around these connectors, okay, I'm trying to keep my wiring tight, and um, that's that's leaving me limited working room to uh, to do these connections. So I'm I would advise using some sort of a piece of plywood um, or something to protect uh, everything, because man, these things get crazy hot. You could melt your carpet, you could melt the paint, you could catch something on fire. So I just use a uh, piece of plywood to lay my wires down and then heat them up as I'm doing my connections. Okay, cousins, I managed to flip this around the correct way, wire up my positive coming in and my negative going out, and uh, very strategically wired up the relay. And uh, I'd like to show you guys this is the one uh, switch I got that uh, actually says what it's for. Lights up, relay, turns the light bar on. So that, that works, that's awesome. And then uh, I got this permanently wired in as well. Turn that on, it's got my bolts. Let's see, Let's see bolts go up. So that's uh, this switches volts and USB, and then obviously this is light bar. That's all I've got wired up at this point. But um, what I'm going to do now is all of these negative leads coming in are going to tie into my negative bus bar, okay? And then I'm going to do all my accessory wires um, coming in here tie those into my switches and then do my out 
back over going into here and then fusing everything. All right, so I have a low ramp step finder that's gonna go right here in the boat. So this is coming out. This is what plugs into the unit itself. Um, this wire here goes back to the transducer at the rear of the boat. And then this wire here, I've routed through and you'll see I've got these, this small wire coming out here. Uh, I had a red one and a black one. The black one is already uh, wired up, so that's the negative for the depth finder. And then this positive one, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm gonna attach it in here, and I'm just gonna fuse it with a two amp fuse. So that's simple enough. Negative on the depth finder goes to the bus bar, positive goes here, and is gonna get a fuse with a two amp fuse, okay? No switch or anything for depth finder power. Um, the unit itself, when it's plugged in, it has a power button. Um, so I'll be good to go on that. So very, fairly simple setup if you guys are doing depth finders. Another thing I'm doing is uh, I've got these 2216 ring terminals. And um, on some of this really small diameter wire, which is for the depth finder, um, when I crimp that, I'm coming over it with a, uh, a smaller piece of this heat tubing. Okay, which you got to put on the wire before you crimp the connector. Okay, and then I'm coming back with a uh, with a larger piece diameter over the actual connection. Okay, so a smaller piece and then a larger piece, and then it and then it gives it this look right here. Okay, to the left on this one, and it really really seals it up tight because what'll happen is that larger diameter, if you just put it over that connector. It's a three to one shrink ratio, and it, it just does not lock a good seal around this thinner wire. On this thicker stuff, it's fine. But I just wanna show you that. That's just a quick tip that I, how I double wrap um, some of these connectors. Slowly making progress, getting all these negatives tied in. Uh, just wanted to mention real quick one thing I do. Anytime I do a connection, I'm actually do a pull test. And what I mean by that is after I crimp it, I will actually put one hand on this and another, another hand on the wire and I'll actually pull on it with some pressure. And uh, if it pulls out, obviously I didn't make a good crimp. Um, if it stays pretty good and stable, um, then I'll go ahead and take my uh, heat shrink tubing and overlap it and shrink it down and then that'll secure it even more so. So I just do a pull test just to make sure everything is good and tight and secure. Okay guys, I'm actually really happy about how that turned out. I can't believe I used all 12 negative terminals there's three 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 and three um i had 12 negative leads running in and so i've got my negative eight gauge coming from my battery and then on this uh, blue c systems this is your negative bus bar so all 12 leads coming in um, predominantly most of them come up through here and route around and down or down and up uh, what i did do was i took one of these uh clips and um tidied my wires up and mounted them inside the frame um, just to kind of keep things consolidated again. I've got my relay over here For my uh, light bar and you can see I've got my wires zip tied together and it's screwed in and it, they're kind of consolidated on that side So I'm really happy with everything so far now what I'm gonna do is start um, taking my accessory wires and putting connectors on those I've got each one of them labeled put, putting connectors on those and connecting them into switches and then running my, my wire out from my switch and back through into my positive uh, terminal and then fusing uh, those positive leads for whatever individual accessory. And then that'll be it, guys. Um, we'll be all done. So I did uh, go ahead and turn my depth finder on and make sure that it has power. This thing is uh, not the newest, latest, and greatest in technology, but it works. So um, I'm happy for that. I hadn't turned it on in two plus years. So I'm glad the transducer works and uh, at least it's gotten power. So that's it. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start uh, wiring these in to the switches and then jumping everything over. Okay. Since all my negatives are wired in to the negative bus bar, now I'm wiring my leads out from a fuse block. Okay. Those are going around and through and then they're going into my switch. Okay. Into the middle prong on my three pin. Okay, and then coming out of the lower prong, okay, down there. All right, so this is negative. This is going to the fuse, this green wire, and then this red wire is going back to my accessories, okay? Um, what I've done here, number one, I'm using green wire 
okay so just if i ever have to get in here and tinker i know that my red wires are coming in for my accessories my green wires are going out from my switch over to my positive leads and i know that all my black wires are going in and those are negative uh terminal leads okay so everything's kind of color coded um, another thing i'm doing is on the back side of the switch just for my reference i'm labeling what is what um, I plan on printing out some labels to go on the front switches of the switches, but for now um, that'll all be kind of labeled. So as I'm going through and testing everything, I know which switch is, switch is which. Another thing I'm doing is over here, if you see that's a lot going on, I'm just, I'm just labeling where my negative leads are coming in and then also uh, just labeling my fuses. Long story short, this will be a little reference map for me. And I'll have, um, when it's all said and done, I'll have all my negatives for my terminals, and it'll tell me which one is which. And then I'll have all of my um, positives, and it'll tell me what I'm fusing it with and um, which one is which. And uh, I'm just going to, like, laminate this and keep it on me or something for real um, or just take a picture of it. But, uh, yeah, and then also, man, dude, I'm freaking crisscrossed applesauce up in this bee. And, dude, my knees are killing me, man. I... I've spent literally to do this, I'm going to tell you, it's probably taken, I would imagine, two two full days. And maybe it's just because I'm slow or I'm double checking everything. I don't know if there's a more efficient way. But man, I'll have like two days of labor into just wiring all this stuff up. And, and I don't know, man. This is just probably rookie amateur stuff. But uh, I'm just trying to do a good job. But it's looking good so far. So I'm going to keep going. I just want to show you guys that, how that works. So... Again, negative going into the top pin. The green coming out is going into my uh, positive terminal with a fuse. And the red at the bottom pin going out is going to my accessory. Cousins! Finally, man. Got this thing all wired up. Goodness gracious. I can't tell you. I, I wish I would have timed myself. I, I lost track so far. <laughs> so long ago on how many hours and how long i've sat in this freaking boat like an indian um goodness man i'm worn out uh this is bad on my hips and knees i know that cousins that actually is all wired up and complete i know it looks like a rat's nest but believe it or not it makes sense Again, all the red wires coming in are from the accessories. That could be a bilge pump, light bar, courtesy light, LED light, live well, research, whatever. All the green wires going out from the switch are going over to the positive terminal on the blue C system setup. Um, and there they're fused. And then you've got the 8-gauge wire going back to the battery. You've got the 8-gauge wire from the negative going back to the battery. And then all your negatives from your switches or from your accessories coming over here. And tying into the negative bus bar, the blue C systems, that setup, dude, is where it's at. It saves a lot of trouble, a lot of headaches, um, just from what I can tell. Uh, I'm digging it. So, I uh, got, uh, got the relay for the light bar. Got everything. Man, everything is done, dude. I'm just, like, so happy. If it wasn't, if it wasn't 1 a.m. right now, I, I'd, I'd throw a party, man, and invite all my cousins over here. But, uh... Honestly, dude, I'm gonna get some shut eye. I've got to, uh, I've got to bolt in the uh, the carpeting panel, and I've got some framework that actually supports all this stuff. So get a, it all back into place and permanently mounted, and um, get this get this set up in here and permanently mounted, and then of course get my cover, my glass window cover over there, and get it just get it all beautiful. And um, then what we're gonna do is we're going to do a another video. I uh, hate to leave you guys on the edge of your seats, but we're going to do another video um, that's just going to be solely dedicated to the demoing of this electronic setup, which very well could be the cleanest electronic wiring job in a John boat. Okay, I'm just going to throw that out there, um, or it could not be. I really don't know. I haven't, I haven't done too much research on what everybody else is doing. Um, believe it or not, I've just. Uh, done enough to figure out how to do this without uh setting my boat on fire but uh also i do have a fire extinguisher on board always practice safety when on the water um guys i'm gonna i'm getting delusional it's 1 a.m we're gonna 
we're going to uh, get all this back together and we're gonna, just going to do another video demoing everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you like what you see in this video, as always, subscribe to the channel. Uh, build number two coming up this fall, hopefully, um, sooner than later, the, uh, the, the 10-foot ultralight. Okay, guys, have a great night, and thanks again for joining me.